It is such a lovely day out here. I had on a cardigan on top of this, but I just had to take it off because it was just a little too warm. So I am out and I am at the place where I normally like to come to shoot videos. And I just wanted to share with you some sewing garments that I have made recently. And then I will be showing you in the next couple of weeks what these sewing garments look like all made up. I'm so excited. I have six things to share with you. And I have a bag on my shoulder because in the bag I also have some fabric that I purchased recently. And it came in the mail. So I will be sharing with you what that is. And to be quite honest, I can't remember what I purchased. I remember that I purchased something from Vogue. I remember I bought an invisible zipper to go with it. And I kind of think that it's a knit fabric. And I think it's beige because if I remember right, the zipper was beige. But I waited on this package for so long that I can't even remember exactly what I got. Does that ever happen to you guys? So anyway, I'm going to open it with you and we will discover what it is all together. So when I get to a good place where I can sit down, I will come back and we will get started. Okay, so I found a little bench. All right. So let me start with my fabric. It's just a little piece. It's not a whole lot. I brought scissors. I made sure that I came prepared. Okay. I'm excited. It's like getting a Christmas gift or something. Okay, so let me see what's in here. I hope they didn't forget my zipper. Okay. Oh, it's gray. I was thinking it was beige. Okay, so it is a knit. Oh, they put the zipper in here. and It is gray. Both of the pieces are gray. I could have sworn I bought something beige. So I think, yes, I remember now, of course, this is a Ponte knit and I purchased this to make a skirt that I had in mind. It's a Berta pattern. So I'll make sure that I put a picture of it up. Um, of course, that's what I hope to make, but sometimes I get the fabric, I look at it, and then I decide I wanna make something else. But that the plan is to make this Berta skirt, and it did call for an invisible zipper. So I've never heard of this brand, Unique by YKK. I've heard of the YKK. I've seen that on zippers before but not heard of unique. So anyway, that is my fabric. They put a label in here, let's see. Not a label, but a, a little um, piece of paper and invoice telling me what I ordered. So I wanted to make sure that it's Ponte. Yes, it says Ponte Roma. Yeah, that's what I remembered. Okay, all right, so that's that. So now I brought my clipboard. And I have six patterns that I have made recently that I will be sharing. So it's one skirt, one bodysuit, two dresses, and two jumpsuits. Okay, so what one of them is, is McCall's 8066. I made the short skirt that is shown in gingham. So I made view A, and for this garment I used scraps. But it won't look like I used scraps, so when you see it, you'll know what I mean. Okay, so the next one is Butterick 6677, and I made view C, which is the sleeveless dress in the middle. Next, I made McCall 7983, which is the bodysuit. So what I have to say about this out of all of these is this was my quickest make. The next one is McCall 7394, so I made the jumpsuit in view B, and I would say out of all of these that this is my most comfortable make. Next is going to be McCall's 5843. I made dress A, and this dress, I would say out of all of these, took me the longest to make. And the last sewing make that I will be sharing is McCall's 7953. I made this jumpsuit which has an overlay in the front and I made view D which has the ties on the side. So yes, I'm excited to share with you over the next coming weeks what these garments look like all sewn up. And before I go, let me leave you with a love share. So my love share is that in Milan, Italy, you are legally required to smile at all times except at funerals or hospital visits. Can you believe that? That is just so, so interesting to me. All right, you guys. See you soon. 
If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.